بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد اي الله حبت في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى has laid out for us a path a sirat al-mustaqim the straight way and if we follow it we'll have success and if we deviate from it we'll be destroyed and the sirat allah the way the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the way of the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so the sirat al-mustaqim is the kitab illah wa sunnat al-rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ahabatif allah avoiding that which opposes that sirat and that which causes sickness in the heart and the sickness in the heart which we should all be fearful of is a sickness of nifaq of hypocrisy and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran about those people who have sickness in their heart fi qulubihim marad fazadhum Allah marada wa lahum adhabun alim bima kanu yakthibun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-baqarah in their hearts is a disease and Allah has increased their sickness and for them is a painful punishment for what they used to deny this is the affair of the hypocrites ahabat fi Allah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem fi qulubihim marad an-nifaq meaning hypocrisy in their hearts is a sickness and the sickness is hypocrisy wa iyadun billah min dhalik fa zadahum allah marada and allah increases them in this sickness meaning that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase for them their trials and their test and their this great trial of the sickness this disease of hypocrisy and evil will pursue them evil will follow them and this is because they left the sirat the sirat mustaqim because in their hearts was a sickness and openly they declared iman and they showed iman but inside of them was disbelief wa iyadun billah min dhalika habtu fi allah strive your best to purify your insides and to constantly work on cleaning the diseases and the sicknesses that we contain in our hearts the desire for sinfulness the desire to do wrong the desire to follow our desires the desire to follow bid'a and seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from that hypocrisy and we ask Allah the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from being of the people of nifaq and hypocrisy and sickness wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam